President Evil X Jug Her, and I'll hear from the Evil Goods. And right now, I'm gonna bring you guys some gameplay in Call of Duty Black Ops 2 Zombies on the map of Barry. To me, this is the best strategy, whether it be solo, co op, one, two, three, four players, doesn't really matter. I actually did this with four players. The other players had quit out of the game. We've been playing this game for like four hours now. People got tired, people went down, couldn't go back in time anymore, stuff like that. You guys will know what I'm talking about later more on this channel when it's time for me to reveal what the time bomb actually does sometime during this week. But I've actually been releasing, let's see, I did about 12, 12, 13, 14 videos on this map today. And to me, this is the best high round strategy on how to survive on Buried. You guys can see I'm actually in the maze running circles in the heart of the maze itself and it's really easy there's really nothing that can really stop you from not getting to high rounds once you got all the right weapons whether it be the ray gun mark 2 with ray gun but you definitely need to have that wonder weapon which is the paralyzer aka the pedophile and just kidding the petrifier and it will just demolish the zombies and you will see me actually getting into some sticky situation it's really hard to run the circle I know I said it's easy but I've been running circles hoarding zombies you know for like two years now I know it sounds lame but whatever I this is what I do you know what I mean so it's it's really easy for me to do it so if you're gonna try to do this just work work on it it's you gotta know how to hoard zombies you know what I mean you gotta know how to cut zombies is the main important thing how to take damage when to take damage and when to actually get out of your damage aid so you can actually recover and keep the circle going and keep the rounds going so this is my tactic in showing you guys how to survive on buried to high rounds whether it be co-op or single player either way it's fine it doesn't really matter but monkeys you can have monkeys like that doesn't really matter but the thing about um i haven't really explored yet like i said the time bomb i played with it today with my um, with my with my clan the evil goods and we did go back in time to get one of the achievements and i'm gonna show you guys what it is um, next video I upload will be that achievement and another achievement after that and that will be it for the night. So that will be a total of 14 videos today on Buried, tutorials on everything. So it's, it's a beautiful look. I'm still going to be bringing you guys content throughout the week. So don't think I'm going to stop right here. This is only the beginning. So I'm putting in work right now with the Paralyzer, Petrifier, the, the Pedophile or whatever you want to call it. Going into work right now. Killing all the zombies is beautiful because it actually gives you drops, max ammo and stuff, certain things like that. So it's not a, a waste. It's a beautiful weapon that can actually take you places and you can fly and stuff with it. Bring you more gameplay on that later on. But for now, this is what you need to know to high rounds with your friends. This is actually a pretty good campus spot for four players. I don't know why my teammates, my clan mates decided to leave this spot because we was actually camping here. And they got tired of it, they want to one circle somewhere else, they want to split up. So that's what we did, they actually went down some quit, like I said before. But you guys can see, look at my inventory, the bottom left hand corner, on top of the round 25, I have 7 perks. That's right, I got all 7 perks in the game. Basically, if you want to know how to do that, just go to my channel, go to Barry, go to the playlist, Black Ops 2, Zombies, Buried, and you will see the Ectoplasmic Residue Achievement, and that's how you get all perks on this map it's really easy if you guys want little synapses because you might not want to go check that video right now you guys are watching this video I'm just gonna tell you because you guys actually deserve it for watching this much of this into this video so basically what it is to get all seven perks all you gotta do is go in the house let Lucy chase you which is the queen of the house the ghost of the house the bitch of the house whatever you want to call her she comes out you kill her around the maze when around the maze or around the town area and she will drop a free perk every time you do that you get a free perk she doesn't do it every round but I believe she does it every other round not sure how the consistency work yet still trying to figure that out but we actually got the all seven perks in this burst so for example we got like this fifth perk six perk like around eight then we got the next one around 12 the next one at 17 so it's not like 15 and 17 then 18 well that'd be 19 21 and stuff like that it didn't work like that because we actually did it in this burst because we was camping here for a while so I'm not sure how that actually works but from her she actually gives her all free perks and that's the only way to get all free perks on this map is from the queen of the house which is Lucy that we know right now okay so now I was actually trying to make some gameplay showing you guys how to well not really how to but if there's an eight, eighth perk after you get all seven perks unfortunately I couldn't bring you guys that gameplay I'm gonna have to do it over because there was a playlist update and on Xbox 360 when you get a playlist update they actually kick you out of the game so I couldn't bring you guys that gameplay but I did end the, 
the round, round 25. At the end of the round, you guys will see that I actually made it through the round doing this strategy, this horde and circle strategy. I'm going to try to find some more strategies for you guys, but this is where it's at right now. But I, what I really want to do is find a strategy how you can actually camp with four players and have your back against the wall like a catwalk on Doris because I love those type of strategies because all you got to do is lay back, sit back and shoot and kill other than actually having to put in work like I'm doing right now but sometimes you don't need to be like that putting it back against the wall and catwalk strategy all you got to do is just run circles and sometimes running circles actually help you out because playing a video game with killing zombies relieve stress reliever and that's recommended by Dr. Zombie Cartel aka Evil X Jug Hernog. You guys can see I'm pulling out a stunt right now got out of that mix Throw a monkey because I just wanted to throw a monkey, you know, it's it was really easy. I wish that they have a time bomb. Didn't use a time bomb yet, but my clan mates actually used it to get that achievement. Um amazed and confused. I'm gonna bring you guys that video next after this one. So if you guys enjoy the gameplay, subscribe my like today if you have not already. Man, I'm so good at zombies and you guys love me and I love you guys too. We're almost almost at 15,000. Love you guys to the fullest as evil continue to bring you the viewers. The goods.